Ego thoughts. Anthony Joshua is fighting late replacement Robert Hellenius. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I told you I'm going back to the roots. Some of the things I used to do at the beginning of the start of my channel, just ego thoughts. It doesn't have to be a big headline, anything, just things I want to get off my chest. Now, shout out to Icy, Ego's Army. He was asking me my thoughts about this Anthony Joshua versus Robert Hellenius, and I figure other people want to hear my thoughts as well. So what better way than to use my platform to talk about it? So my thoughts, I mean, it's a cool save. I can't really, in these situations, I can't really fault Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn for giving the fight to a guy like Robert Hellenius. He's been in there with the Johan Duhapis. He's been in there with Gerald Washington, Dillian White, who failed the drug test, which we'll get to in a second. He's been in there with Deontay Wilder, of course, and two fights with Adam Kaunaki. It's not their fault that Dillian White failed a drug test. That's on him totally. And to save your show, all the money invested into promotion and ticket sales to give the fans some type of show, you got to put it together. Now, last time Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua put it together last minute was when Gerald Big Baby Miller failed a test ahead of his fight. And these are two guys that accuse Joshua of juicing and then they end up popping dirty and losing out on million dollar paydays to fight Joshua. So a bit of irony there. So I'm not gonna hold Joshua responsible for fighting a Robert Hellenius. In addition, I personally, I like Robert Hellenius. He's a big Viking looking muff. And I think he's formidable. If he doesn't get caught early, then I think he can give Joshua an intense fight. The other thing is Joshua has a brand new trainer, Derek James, and truth be told, what I've seen, there's only one fight with them together, but just in general, what I've seen is a less aggressive Anthony Joshua who's trying to go back to the basics, and I don't know if that's Anthony Joshua. Like, when I was watching Anthony Joshua, his first 15, 16 fights or whatever, he was knocking dudes out. He looked athletic, explosive, working behind the jab, and... Since he's taken some losses to Ruiz and the loss to Ruiz and maybe the Usyk losses, it seems like a more passive and thinking man's Joshua against a guy like Robert Hellenius, who's big. If you look at the faceoffs, he's they're about the same size. He's just a big dude. He recently fought. It looked like he was fighting in prison or some kind of dungeon or something like that. And he got a knockout in that particular fight. I also think Robert Hellenius is the guy who's really responsible for damaging Adam Kaunaki's career, career-wise, I don't think Kaunaki recovered from the two losses to Hellenius. So I, I think it's a dangerous foe. I'm definitely going to tap in. It's the heavyweight division. And with Joshua being more conservative and trying to think, it seems like he has to think his way in the ring a bit more versus when he first started before he lost and before like the Klitschko fight and some of the low moments of his career. I think Joshua was more fluid and things like that. But, you know, Robert Hellenius has been knocked out by Gerald Washington. I'm not even going to say Wilder because obviously Wilder knocked him out in one round, but he knocks pretty much everybody out. So he has been knocked out by Gerald Washington and Johan Duhapis, who aren't considered as big a puncher as Joshua. So, you know, we'll see. But I think it could be a dangerous fight for as long as it lasts. And Joshua is going to have to move around. I thought Franklin fight for Joshua. I don't think he just, he didn't look spectacular to me. So at the end of the day, this is a good solid replacement. And to me, a dangerous foe for Joshua to take on late terms. Joshua is also the type of person where, I don't know if his adjustments on the fly are all that. You know, even with Derek James, I think he's the type of person that needs to study for the test as opposed to taking the pop quiz. And some people, they need the rehearsal time. And Joshua... He doesn't seem as good on the fly, and that's when we've seen him take his first pro loss to Andy Ruiz. He was studying for a completely different rival that he faced in the amateurs and that he fought and knocked out in the pros, Dillian White. He popped dirty. So this is a completely different guy, a taller guy, than he was initially going to fight. So I wouldn't be surprised if Joshua, you know, has a tougher than expected fight here. But, you know, if he blows him out, then I'll give him his props. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Box of Ego. Ego thoughts. Quick hit. And I'm out.